Hi, this is Park Madden from the Weather Store in Sandwich, Massachusetts. Uh, today, we're going to talk about an item from my inventory, which is what I consider one of the nicest thermometers that I've had. Uh, this is a thermometer made by the Tycos Company in Rochester, New York, made around 1925. I've often carried antique thermometers uh, because, well, when I can find a nice one, they're great because they still hold up well. They're made to this day. Uh, whether they're indoors or outdoors, the materials that they use was just terrific compared to the plastic ones you see today. So thermometers uh, can work just as well as the day they were made as they do today, being a nice antique quality one. So this one was made around 1925, made by Tycos. Uh, Tycos, over the years, actually was purchased by Taylor, and Taylor thermometers uh, can still be found out, of, out in the marketplace today. I mean, they're mostly plastic ones now, but this is like the early roots of it. So uh, now Tycos also made a lot of thermometers which were used for uh, heavy industry. Uh, there are versions of these that always look similar, but they've got these big tubes that come out the back sensors and they were used to like to go into the back of machinery. Uh, they have pressure gauges, steam gauges, but they all have this beautiful like cast brass or bronze material that they made. I mean, these, these things are built like tanks. Uh, they're heavy. I mean, this one's probably about well, height-wise, it's probably about 15 inches tall, but it weighs at least a few pounds, which is massive. Now, the thing that really sets this one apart, and you gotta be careful when you're looking at thermometers out in the marketplace, um, you know, a lot of these industrial thermometers will have temperatures that go way up to like three, 400 degrees. This one is covering ambient temperature ranges. So it goes up to 120, down to about minus 40. And along here, it says like zero freezing, temperate, summer heat, blood heat, which is kind of neat. Um, but the thing that I think is, is just so wonderful about it is this wonderful cage around, the, and this is all cast. So this spirit thermometer that comes down here, has a, a really large bulb in here. Uh, so it's, it's protected. It's set off uh, from the wall. And I'll see if I can move the camera a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about, how it's, you see how it's really set off on the wall there. So uh, this is a wonderful antique thermometer. There we go. Uh, wonderful antique thermometer. Not only is it a cool collectible, but it still works. Now, I probably wouldn't put this outside because, I mean, it'll hold up, but it's just too nice to put outside. I keep it in my store here. It's what I look at every day when I come in. I'm gonna be, uh, gonna be really sad when it sells. So anyway, it is on my website at theweatherstore.com. Uh, and please check it out, uh, call me or email me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.